Okay, so now we've powered on the unit from the on-off switch, which is at the back left of the unit. And this is the first screen we see. You'll see the OmniSense icon here. So I'm going to click on that, and we're going to be taken to a login screen. Now you'll see that the username from your user's manual is Sunlight, S-U-N-L-I-G-H-T. And the password is Omni, O-M-N-I. We'll click OK, and we're taken right to the desktop. So now let's look at what we have on the desktop. Let's start with the measurement type. So you see we have two choices from the drop-down list. Sorry, three choices. Single site, multi-site, or system quality verification. For our purposes, we're going to be using either single site or system quality verification. Let's go to the site. You'll see number one, distal radius, and that's what we're going to be using today. Although there are other choices of proximal phalanx, the third finger, the uh, mid-shaft tibia, or the metatarsal four, five. So we'll just leave it on distal radius, and you'll see that the probe is automatically selected as the medium probe. You'll see some icons up top here. And we'll talk about those as we move along. But you'll see here is an important one, new patient. And here we have measurement methodologies. Those are actually videos that you can watch ahead of time to make sure that you have the technique correct. Opposite the operator and next to a standard desk. Use the measurement gauge to determine the position to make the measurement. Place the subject's non-dominant arm on the gauge platform. The elbow should be positioned so that the arm is perpendicular to the platform. And finally, a scheduler, which we won't be using. And then, of course, we have drop-down menus from the top. Uh, you can get to a new patient by clicking on this as well, or opening an existing patient. And we don't have to worry about import or export. We don't have to worry about administration or research. There is a help button for different topics that you may wish to seek help on. You'll see the site image here, and according obviously to whatever is in your site, you will see the actual uh, area where you're going to be measuring. At this case, we're two-thirds down the distal radius, so the actually the distal radius, and this is actually a picture of where we are going to be measuring the speed of sound but of course exiting the system. Now let's perform a system quality verification or SQV. Now recall that we need to do this once a day or else the machine is going to tell us that we have not done it at all. So we might as well do it when we first turn the unit on in the morning. First of all, looking at measurement type, we're going to have to make sure that we click on system quality verification. We also want to make sure that we're testing the correct probe. We want the CM because we're using the medium size probe for the radius. So we've selected CM. Now, our next step is to take the probe and to take the lubrication and to put an even roll of lubrication across the probe. We want to hold the probe vertically upwards and put a little bit of lubrication on the phantom as well. So remember, we're testing the speed of sound through the phantom. First, we need to look at the phantom then. Look at the temperature. On this, we have a temperature of 26. We look at the speed of sound at the back. The correction factor is 2751. Now we'll take the phantom We'll put it directly on top of the probe. We have to make sure that there are no air bubbles 
between the probe and the phantom. It doesn't look like we have any there. So now we're going to click on measure. And we're ready to measure now. And I'm going to hit the foot pedal. And it starts the test. And you'll hear that audible sound until the test is finished. There we go. We have a checkered flag. It means that we need to do another cycle. You'll see that it says cycle one of five. Well, usually we're okay with three cycles, but the point is we have to do another cycle. So I'll hit the foot pedal again. And as you see, we start a second cycle. We'll go right through that audible sound again. We'll continue until this cycle is finished. And we see the checkered flags again. We have done cycle two. I'm going to hit the foot pedal again. And we're going through the third cycle and hopefully this will be enough for the unit to get an appropriate measurement. Oh, we do have the result button illuminated, active. So we can click on the result button now. And we see to enter the Phantom SOS. If you recall, the uh, SOS number for the temperature we had was 2751. So I'm going to enter that and click OK. And we see that our particular uh, unit is calibrated effectively. Anything within the colored bars means that we're OK and that our quality assurance is up to par.